my name is Navigator, and I do have some bad news for you guys because unfortunately, and yes, I do mean unfortunately, we are unboxing a Shawn Michaels figure. Now, I don't think I've ever talked about this on the channel before, but I dis buys Shawn Michaels. Not because of his character, but because of all the things I've heard about him in real life. I I don't like mean people. I don't like narcissists, nothing like that. So if, uh, if I ever end up meeting Shawn Michaels in real life, I don't know, he might have to give me some sweet chin music. But anyways, I did pick this figure up not only because it's the first Shawn Michaels figure that I have, but also because it was super cheap and because there is a really awesome ring bell included with this figure. That is really the entire reason why I picked this up. Was that bell. I mean, Shawn Michaels, whatever, but that bell is what I wanted for my ring. I do not have one yet. So with all that being said, I'm going to check this out. I put a short up on my channel talking about how uh, a lot of these other figures in the line, including Shawn Michaels and the Roman Reigns, which I just unboxed, are only like eight bucks at TJ Maxx right now. So hop out there and try to get on those deals. Because uh, I mean, hey, even if you don't like the guy, you know, eight bucks is eight bucks. It's pretty cheap. So let's take him out of here. I'm just going to rip him right out. See you later. And there you go, out of the box, still in the packaging. And even though I don't like this prick, uh, I will say this figure is really, really cool. There is one that I saw uh, announced at San Diego Comic-Con that I want where he's kind of in cowboy boots, but that's not because of him, that's just because of the cowboy boots. I love anybody in cowboy boots. But I'm rambling on here. Let's take all this out of the box. Let's start with the bell here, the, uh, the piece de resistance. Pop that out of there. Oh, it's actually kind of fastened in there. That's interesting. Use my manpower here. There we go. Take that out of there. Put that on the white, and let's pop him out of here as well. I wish he came with some fists. Some fists definitely would have been nice, although these kinds of hands, if you want to pose him in an entrance thing, would be good as well. Let's take him out of here. There we go. See you later, as, uh, as our boy Kyle Peterson always says. Um, you know what I'm going to do here? I'm going to switch out these hands. I hate these gripping hands on WWE figures. I think they look ridiculous. It just, they're just always too, like, oversized, and I don't know. It just always looks crazy. Let's get him in some kind of, like, Shawn Michaels-esque pose here before we do a nice review, because those gripping hands are just going to bother the heck out of me. I did watch Kyle Peterson's review on this, and he said that the hands looked a little bit too big for Shawn, but then again, like, the one that I had with Brett is the same story. But let's see. I guess, uh... That's a fine pose for Shawn Michaels, I guess. I don't know. We'll leave him like that. But yeah, the hands do look a little bit, uh, or at least the fingers look like super long. I have no idea. I have no clue. But overall, pants are super cool. I think this is like when he was a born again or found Christ or whatever, so he put all the crosses on there. Whatever. <laughs> I think it's a little cr a crock of whatever on Shawn Michaels' part, but anyways, um, yeah, this is, I will say, my, my opinions on Shawn Michaels aside, this is a really, really cool figure. The sculpt is great. The hair on the back with that kind of, uh, the ponytail coming down the middle is really, really good. The tattoo on his bicep there is great, and yeah, the printing on the legs is really, really awesome. Even the boots, I kind of like the little steel toe he's got going on there. The face, I will say, is a little weird. It's a little, like, ghoulish. He doesn't really have any emotion going on. Maybe this is kind of when he lost his smile or whatever that was, whatever that gimmick was. But overall, pretty cool figure, I do have to say. The gripping hands, nothing to really say about it. Let's talk about the bell, though. The whole reason I got this. So on the back, we do have ooh, 2010. This thing was made back in 2010. The figure wasn't. This must have been. Jeez. Must have had these lying around in the warehouse. So you have the WWE logo on the back, and it's pretty straightforward. This will lay flat in the little hammer there with this honestly nice and pretty sturdy wire. And you go ding, 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 and that's it. This doesn't have any articulation, does it? Nah. There's a little bit of a gap there, as you can see, though. So it's not completely molded on. It's pretty sweet. But I'm going to throw this on my AEW announcer's table, just kind of as a little piece on the side. And there you go. But yeah, I mean, eight bucks even just for this. I would have bought that at a, at a toy store or, you know, a GameStop. Who knows? Eight bucks really isn't that bad. Throw that off to the side. Actually, no, this is like the whole point of the video right there. I'm going to leave it in the video. But overall, pretty awesome Shawn Michaels figure. The legs, I will say, they're like a little bulky. And this leg is kind of loose, but that's okay. I'm not really too concerned about it. I was never really a big fan for these kind of like massive pants that he wore. I don't know. But overall, pretty great. And I'm very happy because number one, I have a figure that I can have under Bret Hart's boot posed up. And number two, I will never have to buy another 
Shawn Michaels figure again, unless the one with him in cowboy boots does come out. But I'm gonna stop rambling there. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Thank you so much for 50 subscribers. That is a godsend, I can't believe it. But yeah, I'm gonna stop rambling there. Once again, Ruthless Aggression Shawn Michaels and head over to your local TJ Maxx and get a good deal like I did. My name is Navigator. Have a nice day. Take care.